Exorcist is a movie that traumatized me mm. like no other. And it did a lot of people too. Yeah, and and then my parents were like, you're Jewish, we're fine. <laughs> we have to worry about Dybbuk's. I was uh. like, a Dybbuk? I'm not worried about a Dybbuk. I was like, I'll be the I'll be the exception. I was swore I was gonna get possessed. That movie scared me so much that I'm Jewish and made me believe in the devil. I would sleep with a rosary next to my bed every night. And after we watched the movie, my cousin went into my room and I fell asleep and he started shaking my bed. I'm traumatized. I have full-blown exorcist PTSD. I was definitely too young the first time I saw The Exorcist. And I know I was watching it with my family, and I remember at one point I did have to get up and use the little girl's room, and I was like, Pazuzu was 100% gonna be down the hall waiting for me. I left dressed to kill like everyone left The Exorcist. It was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know who to trust. I don't think I can go home. Oh my God. The creature from the Black Lagoon it's the girl in the white bathing suit, and yes. the creature is right below her and reaching up and not quite touching her foot, and I'm going like, ooh, you know? First it, you were like going to school the next day, and all of us were freaked out. Like, yo, you saw it last night? Did you get any sleep? I'm like, no, I didn't. I mean, I was scared of clowns after that. Poltergeist. That was a film that I saw way too early, and I had to walk home three houses, and I just sprinted, you know, because it was just, it, I didn't sleep for about a week. I had that white blonde hair that was very much like uh, the little girl in the film. So somehow, I imagined that these things would happen to me because I looked like the young, the young character in the movie. Child's play. So it was just this little doll, and it was cute, and. Then all of a sudden it just came alive. And it's just always those moments where the camera is moving, but you don't, it's kind of the POV of the doll that just like, it, it just drove me crazy. And then people later, when they found out that I was afraid of that movie, they would purposefully like put it on. And like, you know, I couldn't go anywhere. I saw the birds when it was new. I think I was 12 years old and it scared the bejesus out of me. When suddenly a, a dead body falls out and his eyes are pecked out, stayed with me my entire childhood. For some reason, I used to really be scared that the mummy was gonna catch me even though he never caught anybody. It's The Mummy with Boris Karloff. That was my first movie that I remember going, this is scary and I'm, I'm, I'm moved in weird ways. <laughs> My first horror movie taught me the power of horror movies. Richard Dreyfuss' character in the cage with the shark going by, and it's, it's gigantic. And I'm just thinking, like, oh my god, this, how? I was so <laughs> blown away by it. I remember it, too. I saw it when it came out. My parents took me. I was 10, and my brother was 7. From the kids that went into that movie and the kids that came out were not the same. No. Horror, I think, touches so many people because it is cathartic. It's like an entertaining way of dealing with your fears and anxieties. It's better to be scared in a movie theater than to be scared in real life.